We had a swarm of the earthquakes in the Reconis Ridge inside the Atlantic Ocean, where the mountain range, which we call as the Mid-Atlantic Mountain Range or Mid-Atlantic Ridge, uh, created a, a, a rise in the ground. This is caused by the rising of the material from the uh, mantle of the earth, which like any other uh, movement create earthquakes. The earthquakes are picked up by our seismometers uh, and this is where we have this uh, swarm of the earthquake happening. We have two clusters of it, of course, and we have also Christophic volcanic system active. The two clusters, one was at the 7 p.m. yesterday, last night, and the next one was just a few hours after that, after the midnight. So these things show that the movements of the lithosphere earth crust at that area is continuing. This also is associated with another movement that we have, earthquakes, at a depth of the five to four kilometers with very tiny earthquakes at the Krisovic on the land. Krisovic area is a volcanic system after the rec uh, uh, in the Reconus Peninsula of Iceland. Here we see the in the Swartzengi volcanic system we are expecting eruption there soon. Uh, rising of the material they're spreading around its surrounding area to the other volcanic systems. As you can see, the uh, GPS data shows that we see the difference uh, in the height of the ground measured against the satellites in orbit. You see that movement of the magma. If you want to visualize it, I have also another diagram which shows that this is just uh, my uh, addition on this, making it more easy to see. The spread of the material from the mantle of the earth to the deep magma source creates also this kind of pattern when we look at it is something like this you can see that uh, magma is rising two different volcanic systems but they're all connected to the mantle of the earth of course and they're supplied by that and uh, in this cartoon i show this also sword sengi and krisovic both have shallow depth uh, magma reservoirs uh, Christophe is actually in the process of building this shadow ma magma reservoir with the uh, swarm of the earthquakes, clusters, as you say, of earthquakes there. I have many videos about these processes. I'll put some of them here so you can watch them and enjoy. We had several big uh, earthquakes in the Atlantic Ocean in the what is called at the Reconist Reach. It is uh, underwater earthquakes on the ridge of the land, which is created when the mid-Atlantic region uh, split the Eurasia from the North America. The extension of this land, when it comes at the surface, is called Reconus Peninsula. And you can see to the left, we have the North America, and the right uh, um, is, is the Eurasia. Here you can see in the form of topography. Uh, Iceland has been created at the middle. You see Scandinavia in the top uh, uh, right, and the UK in the middle of the, uh, near the center right. This is where this split is happening, and this split and the cracks are uh, creating these earthquakes. The land is extended, the earth lithosphere is extended there, is spreading, and this spreading creates this uh, new land by the magma coming up because the pressure is removed. We, in other poor points, uh, parts of the planet Earth, we have collision, those red parts. Here we have the extension. If you look into, into the Earth mantle, you can see the effect of this. Land being subducted and the mantle plume coming up, creating new land also. The Earth crust at this area, Reconus Ridge, uh, is not more than 5 kilometers thick. The depth of the earthquake was 10 kilometers, so that we can say safely it was in the mantle or the top of the part of the mantle where this split is happening on the land we will have earthquakes like what we saw in the Fagel in 2021 then followed by eruption we can conclude that these earthquakes if they happen in the Reconus Ridge we can also have similar underwater uh, eruptions there and uh, the situation is really interesting we are lucky we see that on the land in the uh, Iceland at the moment is happening at the bottom of the ocean. When we plot the earthquakes and the volcanoes on a map of the world, we find that they are concentrated at certain uh, areas. This is the way we discovered the plate boundaries and we discovered that the earth actually is cracked. The cracks through which 
eruptions of volcanoes may happen. Before that, also we may have earthquakes. And uh, first we discovered that the certain coastal areas of the world, for example, Africa and South America, match together as if they have been joined together in the past. Alfred Wegener discovered this first. Now we know that the Earth... Uh, uh, continents are actually not in the original place that they have been. They have moved many times over since the creation of the Earth in four and a half billion years ago. And this process is continuing. And where we can see the process actually in real time is in Iceland, uh, where we have the creation of the Atlantic Ocean leading to the formation of this island. Inside the Earth is hot practically due to the impact heat that was introduced to this planet during the formation of it. And uh, this heat creates convection, and the convection leads when it reaches the surface, the solidified crust at the top of the uh, mantle creates cracks in the ground, as you can see here. And these cracks are where the separation or extension of the crust happens, and the uh, Magma forms, fills the gap created simultaneously, so there is no practically a gap. And the eruption of, uh, in the Iceland is of this shape. In the Red Sea, we have another example, Alpha Triangle or Africa, or Rhine Valley in the Germany, we have that. We have these eruptions in the water most of the times, like what we have in the Reckoners Ridge, which is a plateau inside the Atlantic Ocean. Part of it reaches the land. Practically, they are the same as the volcanic systems we have on the land. One of them is the LD volcanic system, similar to Schwarzenegger or Fegedes volcanic system or, or Hengel. And uh, this can potentially erupt inside the ocean. It has done in the 19th century and 20th, 20th century. And it is possible that we have another eruption recently. LD itself is something like a Thorbjorn Hill near the Schwarzenegger geothermal power plant, uh, where the Blue Lagoon is. is a volcanic rock. It's the top of the ridge of the volcanoes. That have been, uh, most of it has been eroded. When we look at the tremors chart, we can see that the earthquakes start from the Reckoners Ridge and extends into the Reckoners Peninsula toward the east. Always starts from the uh, LD, like a wave traveling through the earth, reaching the other side. And the volcanic systems on the Reckoners Peninsula are created like that, very similar to what we have in LD. LD, if it erupts, will be in the ocean, of course, at the depth 60, 70, 80, 100 meters. And when it reaches the surface, it may react with the water. Uh, lava has chloride in it, and chloride can disintegrate, create chlorine. Chlorine gas is one of the byproducts of these uh, eruptions. Also, lots of water and CO2, uh, not compared to what we have actually created by, you know, uh, releasing them from the, you know, oil and gas over the last 200 years, of course. This is an ongoing process. When it reaches the water, like what we saw in the Cumbria Vieja volcano, it can cause this kind of reactions. I have a video about what happened in Cumbria Vieja. Please watch that. Apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cumbria Vieja volcano. Now, two months has passed. Volcano has not stopped. It's coming directly from the core mantle boundary, like a welding torch made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally, now is adding to the land mass of the island. But the lava is flowing down the hills, going toward the ocean. This is a flow that nothing can stop it. I will show you a map that shows how it uh, moves toward the uh, sea, where, where it has covered, actually. When it reaches the sea, it just looks like Jurassic Park. Things are falling down, rolling down. The seawater waves are coming toward the uh, headland created by these lava flows. Any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of the Royal King Kong. And that is how it looks. This is a 3D model we have created, and it shows the lava flow where it ended up on the sea. The older ones, you can see that they are created layered lava as cliffs that we see. It's apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon.
During the last 70 million years, when the Thetis Ocean was closing and Asia and Europe were joining together, forming a supermass, Atlantic Ocean was forming. Iceland was separating from the Greenland, and that created, through the mid-Atlantic ridge opening up, the island we call Iceland. Volcanism was rife in this area, and is rife now even. You can see it erupts in the Grindavik, made the town uninhabitable for the people. And uh, through these eruptions, we know that when a plate moves, it has to accommodate the motion. We see the evidence in the position of the earthquakes. Earthquakes move in this uh, diagram I've made from the west toward the east. As one opening of the gap creates eruption, a transform faults in black uh, arrows has to transfer it to the next fault lines. These are different systems. We call them different systems. Vegetable system, Chrysovic system. Chrysovic system is the one that we are talking about now. So like a domino effect, when one moves, lava erupts through that fault line. The next one has to move also, accommodate the motion. And as you can see, it goes like a domino effect across the Iceland toward the east, separating these plates, Eurasian plate and North American plate from each other. Christovic volcanic system is actually the volcanic system which is taking all these movements, accommodating them through it, and has to transfer it to somewhere else. Transferment in that sense means opening up, and by opening up, it creates volcanism. It has done it in the past. We have seen evidence for it all through this, you know, slanted line. You can see Christovic is one of those systems. It reached once the vicinity of the Reykjavik, the capital of the Iceland, and uh, it can do it again. We see the Fegedisio system, and now movement through that toward the Grindavik, we can see it, and again, this movement has now is transferred again to the Christovic through this uh, mechanism. I like this chart to show you again. Christovic was active in the 12th century for 37 years, created the most huge fire because fire would mean eruption in that sense, because the um, volcanic system is under very you know highly saturated bedrock. It created huge fires, phreatic eruptions. These phreatic eruptions are huge compared to the, uh, this little fissure compared to the person standing beside it is, is amazing. Something like what we see in the Reunion Island in the Atlant in the Indian Ocean or what we saw in the Cambre Vieja, hundreds of meter of, meters of the ash and lava erupt into the air. When it happens, it will be big. I even may reach the Reykjavik. I have a video I will show you that. Although in this video I've called it part of the Fekidesville system. When the mid-Atlantic ridge uh, reaches the Iceland, it has created several peninsulas. One of them is the Reykjavik Peninsula, created by the volcanic system that you see the names of them here. They are technically similar to the bottom edge uh, structure, shear structures that we see in the rocks. Is the extension creating fault lines, and the fault lines through them the lava may erupt. We see them in the in micro scale in, in the rocks. You can make it with a plasticine if you have the time, a model of that. And the extension can create fault lines that the uh, um, lava can rise through them. In the case of the um, the systems, these systems are directly connected to the mantle. Fegedesville volcano was a such a volcanic system. We found that with this discovery that this Fegedesville was connected actually to the earth mantle through a dike. The dike is feed, fed by the mantle. And as the uh, eruption happens in this area in 2021 in Fegedesville, 22 in the Meridil and Little Horto in the 2023, it may happen and extend to the years beyond. From 2025, will be a slight angle toward the east, uh, as you see in the uh, other systems parallel to it toward the east. And by 2030, it's quite possible that this system may reach the Reckoners or the suburbs of it. This is the day that you will see the volcanoes actually erupting inside the town or near the outskirts of the town. This is a scary scenario. And this is one of the several scenarios that may happen. This volcanic system may not reach as far as the Reykjavik, 
Uh, but in this model that I presented, if it reaches there, that will be just outskirts of the town. 